Now in this lecture, we are going to talk about Python variables, which is really, really useful concept. Now, as you remember in our previous lecture, which is lecture three, we have talked about input function. So this is the function which is responsible for getting data from console to our program. Then we can use this data in our programs. Now, if we run this piece of code over here, it will ask our name. So I will put my name over here and hit enter. You'll see that nothing happens. But behind the scene, this input that I have inputted over here is getting replaced with this value of expression over here. So this expression gets replaced with, with my name, which is Ersha. Now, once that's done, it's kind of disappeared. So here, there's no way for us to refer this inputted data in the feature. So we have imported a data from the console to the program, but we have not any way of referring to this data in the feature because we have not saved it anywhere. So this is where variables come in really, really handy. So if we give the result of this action a name, then we will able to refer to it later. So beginning of this input function, if I put something like this name equals to this input value, so this assigns whatever we have put it from the console to the this name over here. So this name, which holds the information that comes from the console is called variable. Now, if I go ahead, run our code and it will ask our name. So if I put my name and hit enter, now this variable over here holds my name. So in the feature, I can refer to it. So if I just call print function and print out this name variable over here, you will see that it's going to print out my name. So one more time, I will run our code. So I will put my name over here. When I hit the enter, you see that it's printing out my name. So this means that the name variable over here saved my name. So it's almost like we have saved the data from this action over here to this name variable over here. So, so by using variables, we can save the information for future use in our programs. Now, if you think about this like a phone book, for example, if you just write the numbers in our phone book, and next time when we open our phone book and look for a person's number, by writing this way, we cannot find it. Because here we have not provided the name for these numbers over here. So in a sense, it's same thing with computer. Even though we have inputted the piece of data to the program, there is nowhere for us to be able to refer this data unless we give it to name. So in our phone book, we can say that this particular number is belong to the, with the name of Ershad and this particular number is belong to the, with the name of Renat. So these names over here is called variables. So in the feature, whenever we need this piece of data, we, we can refer with their names and find out their numbers. So in computer science, these names over here is variables and the number that is associated with it is value. So this means that with the name of Renat, we can access this piece of data in the feature in our program. So the variable name in this case is Renat. So as the name variable suggests, it's something that can be changed and can be varied. For example, let me just delete this information from here. For first name, I'll put my name, Ershad, and just print out name variable over here. So if I run our code, you see that it's going to print out Ershad. Now, in the next line, if I set the name to Renat and print out this name one more time, so what do you think it's going to print out? So what will be the values of this print statements from here? So if we run our code, you see that even though we have printed out the same variable twice, we have different results. Because in the first case, the name variable was holding the name of Ersha. So that's why when we print out it over here, it prints out Ersha first. Then in the fourth line of code, we have set this name variable to Renat. So this means that when we print out the name, it's going to print out Renat because in this stage, it was holding the value of Renat. So that's why when we print out over here, it's printing out Renat over here. So as you see, when we are writing programs, we can change our variables and we can set new values to our variables over here. So this makes it a lot easier when we are writing code. For example, let's say we have a line of code like this. Now this line of code takes the information from the console with this one. And then by using len function, we are calculating the count of characters in this data, in this value that we get from the console. And then we are printing out to the console one more time. Now here, before continuing, let's identify how len function works. So len function starts with len keyword, then we have parentheses. So inside parentheses, we can put string over here. So when we call it, it's going to print out the number of characters. So my name is Elshad. So the number of characters in Elshad is six. So it's going to print out six over here. 
Now let's go back to our code to see how can we make this code a lot easier by using variables. Now in this case, as I mentioned, this code takes information from the console and counting the characters and printing out to the console. Now you can see that when we are writing a code like this, it's very confusing. So by using variables, we can make this code readable and easier. Now this expression over here, I can put as a name. So I'll just cut from here and put it over here. So I will create a variable which will take this information. Then I will create another variable length, which will take this variable and count the length of this variable. So I will put over here and then inside print function, I can print out this variable over here. So you see that we are doing basically the same thing, but by using variables over here, we are making our code a lot easier. So basically what we are doing over here is we are taking the information from the console and saving it to name variable. Then we are taking this name variable and calculating the number of characters in, in this name variable and assigning that value to the length variable. Then we are taking length variable and printing out it to console. Now, if I run our code, you see that it's going to ask my name. So if I put my name and hit enter, you see that it's going to return six. So the number of characters in my name is six. So by using variables, we have made the code that was very confusing, very readable. The possibility is very high to make mistakes over there. But by writing with variables, we can refer to these variables in the future. So we are just saving the data and doing some operation on it and printing out to the console. So as you see, by using variables, we can save data and refer it in the future. Now with this, we have come to the end of this lecture. So in this lecture, we have learned about variables and we have learned about new function, which is length function. So hopefully everything is clear. See you in the next lecture.